Hello everybody and welcome to another session of this online course English One. Remember that this course is part of the program Vamos para la Universidad, uh, coordinated by the Universidad de Antioquia, and which is led to high schools around uh, Antioquia. I usually send special greetings to all teachers and students who are participating in this program. One second. Sorry for the interruption. Okay, so um, I I was sending greetings to all students and teachers here that are in this moment online and the ones that are participating in this program. I hope that you have been learning and improving your English through our sessions. All right. Uh, today is an important class. Remember that we are ending the second unit. So. We have as, uh, two special activities today to close the unit that are um, the actividad de creación, the creative activity, and the self-evaluation, auto-evaluation. So those two activities like uh, making a compilation of what we have studied so far in units one and two as well. All right, so in today's presentation we have Let's see, remember that this, this week corresponds to unit two, week four, session two. All right, and uh, I remind you about the objectives that we have for this week that is talking about significant people. And this session or this week is with uh, the emphasis on the people that, I, that we like, yes? the boy and the girl that we like. Let's see. Alrighty. Okay, in the previous session, you read and listened to a post about Fernanda, yes, who was describing her, the boy that she likes. Yes, do you remember that? We are going to reread. Yes, to remember the information that she posted. Let's see. It says, hello my friends, I am Fernanda and, and, and this is the boy I like. The boy I like is 18 years old. He is tall, he weighs 75 kilos. His hair is curly and black. His eyes are brown, his nose is small, he works at Maria's grocery store, he is brave, he is a little bit messy but very intelligent and clever, he is very kind, also he loves traveling, he really likes studying, he adores painting, he studies at, at the Universidad de Antioquia, he studies to be an engineer. He loves to go to the pool and to the disco. Also, he loves going to the forest and to the river. Finally, he is a happy person. Okay, so as you see, Fernanda was describing some important facts about this boy. She mentions like uh, uh, his job and, and the place where he is studying. He, she mentions uh, his age, he mention, she mentions uh, physical appearance characteristics and also personality characteristics. She also mentions about uh, his favorite things to do, his favorite places. All right, so it's a, a very full description of the boy that she likes. Okay, I'm going to give you a short moment for you in your classrooms two students, yes, with the person that, that is next to you, and talk a little bit about the person that you like, yes, the boy or the girl that you like. Try to make a similar description, I'm going to leave this slide here, so you have like a reference, an example, and try to give a description of the person that you like, alright? 
to students. Yes, just conversation, oral, okay, orally. So you make a short description of the person that you like, or a boy or a girl, okay? Is the instruction clear? Are you following me? All right, ahora Maria Valencia. Yes. Okay, El Llano, very good. Marco Emilio, yes. Okay, it's just the initial uh, uh, practice to connect with the topic today. Very good, San Juan. So, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to do that in your classes. Okay? Make a description of the person that you like. All right, I need some volunteers who give uh, uh, some ideas of the people that you like. Okay, Sajuabel says he's tall, he has blue eyes, he has big eyes, yes. So he's focused on the physical appearance. It sounds like a, a, a prince. <laughs> Tell me more characteristics of the people you like. Very good, Sajuabel. Lorenzo Yali, she's short, he's short, very good. Agricola Tami says he's a happy person. Sajuabel, he loves to play soccer, very good. Lozano, he's fat, he has black hair. What is uh, this institution? Jacqueline Lozano. He's brave, very good. He weighs 65 kilos. Lorenzo Yali, very good. Try, remember, uh, Lorenzo Yali, could you give me an example um, describing the body but not with kilos. Can you say, for example, if the person is thin or slim or a little bit overweight? Okay, Sajuabel, he likes. Um, let me check. Oh, shoot. 65 kilos. He likes to. And remember, Sajuabel, he likes to sing. Very good. He likes to sing. Procesa Delgado. Ah, okay. Procesa Delgado. I know that the institution. Very good. Hello. Yes. Very good. So let's continue some description of the people you like. Remember, about physical appearance, about personality, about favorite things that the person does, has. Excuse me. Yes. Yes, Procesa Delgado. Very good. Some more examples. So have you Okay, Guillermo, aquí, it says, give me one second. He loves to go to the pool and the disco, all right. He is a student of UNAD, very good. He's a happy person, very good. Proceso Delgado, and Sajuabel, very good. Yes. When, when you think, okay, Agricola de Tamis, he's a little bit messy. 
Okay, very good. Have you ever wondered uh, uh, what is the connection that you have with the person that you like? Aura Maria Valencia says, the boy I like is 70, 17 years old. He's short, he has, give me one second, black eyes, he's not happy, all right. Lorenzo Yali, we are friends. Yes, his nose is small. Sometimes the connection that we make the, with the people that we like is because we find a very similar things. It could be similar activities that we do. It, it has to deal probably with similar personality characteristics. Okay, El Llano says he, he goes to the forest. He goes or he likes to go to the forest. Okay, El Procesa Delgado, the boy likes, the boy likes or the boy is? Procesa Delgado, the boy is 18 years old. And he has a big nose. Okay, all right. Very good. Yes, so I was telling you that we normally create a connection with people according to what we find similar. That is one possible connection. Yes, some people normally look in other people like similar characteristics. Ahora Maria Valencia, the girl I like is tall with big green eyes and very intelligent. Very good. All right. And some other times people try to find in other people like the things that they they lack that they are missing for example if if i'm not happy i look for a happy person yes if i am uh, a little bit messy so i look for a person that is really organized that is tidy and clean things like that so sometimes people look for the opposite uh, uh, people in terms of the their personality or activities so you can establish like a counterbalance yes or no am i right or wrong about this okay gabriel echavarria very good san Javier. very good yes okay what i consider that it's important like a, a short reflection here is like that we respect the other person the way he or she is all right and to create a relationship is to try to establish a connection with those things it could be the similar things or the different things but that's the word relation and what the word relation means is establish a connection a relation but not like many many people do like is trying to control the other person or trying to change the other person the way we are all right very good so we have very different tastes yes tastes excuse me taste in uh, people yes all right very good now i hope that you have um, this information somewhere because we are going to do um, um, comprehension activity based on the information that Fernanda posted okay so here we go actividad de comprensión yes we are going to work on this activity all right you go to your virtual courses and you are going to find actividad de comprensión true or false okay true or false you have a list of 20 sentences yes connected with the text about fernanda all right we are going to do it you are going to do it in your classrooms because here i don't have okay let me let me share the screen 
I'm going to share the screen to find the exercise. Give me one second. And we can do the exercise together. No, it's possible, right? Okay. Yes. You need to week four. True or false? Okay. So it's checking the comprehension here. All right. How can I I put this? What? And in the chat so I can see it's not, possible. not possible it's just all right hmm. no okay I'm going to read the sentences and then we are going to check together because I don't have here like the the screen of all the information number one the boy Fernanda likes is 17 years old number two he is tall Number three, he weighs 75 pounds. Number four, his hair is wavy and black. Number five, his eyes are brown. Six, his nose, his nose is big. Seven, he is brave. Eight, he is very messy. Nine, he is very kind. Ten, he loves traveling. Eleven, he really likes studying. 12, he adores watching TV. 13, he studies at the Universidad de Antioquia. 14, he studies to be a doctor. 15, he loves to go to the pool and to the gym. 16, he loves going to the forest and the river. 17, he's a sad person. 18, he's not very intelligent nor clever. 19, he's very happy. And number 20, he adores cooking. All right, I'm going to go back here and let's begin together. So we are going to do something, give me one second here. You are going to tell me if the information is true or false. And if it is false, you are going to give the correct information. All right, is that clear? I'm going to read every sentence and you tell me if it is right or wrong, correct, incorrect, or true or false, yes? And if the information is false, you give the correct information. Is that clear? Okay, El Llano says, okay. Very good, Gabriel Echavarria. So we are ready. Okay, here we go. Number one, the boy Fernanda likes is 17 years old. True or false? False. Okay, that's correct. And so what is the correct information? How old is the boy? Very good, Gabriel Echavarria. He is 18. That's correct. Thank you. Very good. Number two. Let's go number two. He is tall. True. Okay, El Llano. Very good, Marco Emilio. Very good. True. Correct. Number three. He weighs 75 pounds. False. False. True. Okay, tell me the correct. False. Very good, false. What is the correction? We are in number three. Okay, ahora Maria Valencia, very good. 75 kilos, not pounds. Very good. Very good, uh, um, Procesa Delgado. Okay, good. Now, num very good, Gabriela Chavarria. Okay, number, let's see, number four. His hair is wavy and black. False. Okay, that's correct. So what is the correct information? 
curly, curly and black, very good. El lo procesa delgado y ahora María Valencia, very good. Okay, very good. Number five, his eyes are brown. True, Sajuabel, Gabriel Echavarria. Okay, very good. El llano, all. Or you are correct. Number six, his nose is big. False, very good. So what is the correct information? Very good, Gabriel Echavarria, his nose is small. Okay, Procesa Delgado, Jacqueline Lozano, all right. Very good. Now, number seven, he's brave. True, true, very good, all of you. Very good, true. That's correct. Number eight, he is very messy. No, wrong, incorrect. I'm going to repeat. He is very messy. True or false? We say it's false. They don't, she, Fernanda didn't say that he is very messy. What is the correct information? Very good, Ara Maria Valencia. He is a little bit messy, a little. Yes, not very. Okay. Very good correction, Ara Maria Valencia and Procesa Delgado. Very good. Now, number nine, he is very kind. True, all right, that's correct. El Llano, Aura Maria, very good. Now, number 10, he loves traveling. True, that's right, that's correct. Okay, very good, Sajuabel. Okay, number 11. He likes very much studying. True or false? True. True. Okay, that's correct. Very good. Now, number 12. He adores watching TV. False. All right, that's correct. Now, now what is the correction? What is the correction of that? I'm going to repeat. He adores watching TV. Very good, Lorenzo Jali. He adores painting. All right, that's the correct thing. Very good. He adores painting. Number 13, he studies at Universidad de Antioquia, true or false? True, very good, true. Okay, that's correct. Agricola et Tamesis, okay, El Llano, very good. Now, 14, he studies to be a doctor. False, that's correct, that's right. Now, what is the correction? Very good. Lorenzo Jali, very good. He studies to be an engineer. Very good. Very good, Ara Maria Valencia. He wants to be an engineer. It's another way to say. Very good. Very good. Okay. Now, 15. He loves to go to the pool and to the gym. True or false? False. False, all right. Very good, so what is the correction? Uh, yes, that is another part. Yes, he likes to go to the forest as well. But what about here? It says he loves to go to the pool and to the gym. Very good, Jacqueline Lozano. You say to the pool and to the disco. Okay? He loves to go to the pool and to the disco. Okay? 
So it was partially correct, the, the, the idea. I'm going to repeat. He loves to go to the pool and to the gym. It was false. The correction is, he loves to go to the pool and to the disco. Okay. Now, number 16. He loves going to the forest and going to the river. True or false? True. Okay. Very good. True. That's correct. Now, number 16. He is a sad person. False. All right, that's false. And what is the correct information? He's happy. Very good. Ra Maria Valencia. Yes. Very good. Let's see. Very good. Sajuabel. 18. He is not very intelligent or clever. False. El Llano, very good. Yes, that's correct. So what is the correct information? What's the correction? He is intelligent and clever. Very good. Ahora Maria. Valencia, right. Very good. Um, 19. He is very happy. True or false? Okay, true. That's correct. Very good. And finally, number 20. He adores cooking. True or false? False. Okay. False. Very good. So what is the correction? He adores painting. Very good. He adores painting that's correct right congratulations everyone good job okay well done as usual you are really actively participating in class that's nice all right very good now i'm going to explain a, i'm going to show you a video that it are includes the indications for the Actividad de creación, the creative activity. Okay, I'm going to show one video because it gives some important tips of what you are going to develop as an actividad de creación. All right, I'm going to show the video and then I'm going to um, talk to you about the actividad de creación, the options that you can do to have the activity, to de develop the activity in your classes, okay? Let's share the video first. I'm going to play the video. Here we go. El reportaje es un género periodístico que informa de manera amplia los resultados de investigación sobre un tema que el autor considera relevante. Se pueden encontrar en diferentes medios de comunicación, reportajes escritos, gráficos o multimedia sobre personas, acontecimientos y lugares reales. Según su temática, los reportajes pueden ser científicos, explicativos, investigativos, narrativos, biográficos, entre otros. Aunque cada estilo tiene sus propias reglas, todos tienen en común la libertad del autor en la forma de presentar la historia. Elaborar un reportaje o un perfil sobre una persona en particular significa que algunos datos importantes de su vida se convierten en tema de interés. Para la actividad propuesta, ten en cuenta los siguientes pasos. Selecciona un personaje significativo. Escoge una persona cercana sobre la cual desees hablar para que otros la conozcan. Piensa en alguien especial que admires, como un amigo, un conocido o un familiar que aprecies. Define lo que deseas contar. Es necesario darle un enfoque al reportaje dependiendo de las preguntas que consideremos necesarias para dar información acerca de alguien. Como punto de partida, selecciona los aspectos más llamativos del personaje. Por ejemplo, ¿cuál es su aspecto? ¿Cómo es su personalidad? ¿A qué se dedica? ¿Qué gustos tiene? ¿Cómo es su familia? Entre otros. Preparación. 
Escribe todo lo que conozcas previamente sobre el personaje para seleccionar la información más interesante y planear la mejor forma de contarlo. Es importante que se reúnan en una entrevista previa a la grabación y también con personas cercanas al personaje que puedan aportar datos importantes. Redacción Antes de grabar, ten preparado el texto final de lo que vas a contar sobre el personaje. Es clave ensayar previamente para saber cuánto durará la nota. Si tienes dudas en el uso de algunas palabras, revisa junto a tu profesor el texto elaborado y sigue sus recomendaciones para mejorar el contenido y la pronunciación. Realización Escoge un lugar llamativo, preferiblemente que tenga relación con el entorno del personaje y pide el favor a un amigo o compañero que realice la grabación, atendiendo las recomendaciones que se muestran en el video sobre cómo grabar adecuadamente con un dispositivo móvil. Es clave hablar despacio, mirando directo a la cámara y vocalizar con claridad para que el mensaje se entienda mucho mejor. Por último, no olvides saludar al inicio del video y despedirte al final. Okay, so here they are like giving some important tips on how to focus your actividad de creación, right? The idea initially is that first you select the person that you are going to talk about, yes, a significant person, the, I don't know, if it is a person from your family or a person from the school or a person, I don't know, a, probably a famous person from the, from the community, from your municipality, for example. But what is important about this, that the information that we are going to place is not uh, based on our opinion, because this is a video report. So the idea is that you, the information that you include in the video is something uh, real about the person, it means facts about the person. So this uh, activity requires that you do some, some research, some investigation about the person, all right? So they recommend, for example, that you interview the person, yes, so you make some questions and take some notes. Obviously, if, if the person speaks English, you can practice with the person that will be excellent for you as an exercise if the person doesn't speak english so you do the interview in spanish and you take notes of the important information then if you uh, well, you can also interview people that surround the, this person yes you can for example interview a family member or a friend or or a person that is connected in certain way with the with the person right so you can also interview them yes and take notes of important information about this person because what you need to include in the video the idea is that uh, is something connected with what we have studied in in unit 2 So topics like the physical description, the appear and excuse me, the personality characteristics that you include, favorite activities that you include about the family uh, of this person, yes, like the relatives. Uh, you can also talk about the routines that this person has. Uh, it all, you can also include about the favorite places, yes, that the person likes to visit. So there are a lot of things that we studied in, you, in this unit and the idea is that you focus your video including this information uh, as, a, as a way to demonstrate that you have learned uh, certain topics in the class. Is the, like the, this, Are these tips clear, like uh, that you have clarity on what you are going to do as an actividad de creación? All right, very good. The idea is that you teachers in your classrooms with, with your students, that you 
set a, a time to hand in this this video to para entregar este video okay you set a time probably one or two weeks in, in which the students have the opportunity to collect the information and organize the 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 video they they have here when when you have all the information collected this information is for the students particularly when you have all the information collected so organize your ideas by topics yes categorize information so you make a plan of the video yes select uh, an important place for uh, recording the video it, it could be a place that is connected with the person that you are talking about yes you shoot the video if it's necessary to edit it yes then you upload the video in YouTube and then you can put uh, the link of the video in the virtual in your virtual courses remember that also if if it's uh, very difficult for you to make the video so you can uh, think about other options other kinds of formats you can uh, record an audio file as well yes and the idea is that you do you can uh, think about other possibilities but remember the principal focus that of the activity that is making a full description of the significant person all right Yes, I'm going to be here for a while. Agricola etamis is no problem. Yes. It is like this these are like some tips. Yes, on how they can organize the information. Yes, because sometimes uh, when you start recording the video and if the information is not planned or is not organized, you start like talking about personality and then you jumped into uh, the physical appearance and then you jumped into uh, the routines so the idea is that that you organize a, a plan for the video and do it like by subtopics okay and then don't forget like to say hello at the beginning to make a short introduction then you develop your ideas and you say goodbye uh, at the end of the video all right good finally i'm going to explain the activities that we have in uh, actividad de evaluación remember that that is another important part of the course uh, we are going to do i'm going to share the the screen and i'm going to show you the kind of exercises that we have yes i'm going to show you the exercises and then I say goodbye and we continue like developing these exercises in the classroom, okay? Remember when I say when I say that I'm here is because I stay here uh, for a while solving questions or doubts about the exercises. So I'm going to share the screen. Give me one second. writing okay so in your virtual courses you have at the end of the unit you have autoevaluación unidad 2 yes so you click there obviously you have the principal objective that is a uh, demonstrate how much you have learned yes and these exercises you have um, they are designed to uh, to give just one answer okay let's see we have here the first exercise the first activity you have pictures of some characters here all right you have one, two, three, four pictures. Two new characters, Tatiana, Miguel, Camilo, and Xiomara. And you have here some descriptions. Okay? 
So you are going to tell if the information is that the information that is given here corresponds to one particular person. Okay. So you have the descriptions and you have the the to select the person that corresponds. Okay. Then we have a uh, excuse me, I'm going to give back here. That was not the first. I guess that was the, the last. The the one that I explained was the last. Give me one second that I return to the initial part. Yes. Right. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm going to begin again with the first exercise. The first exercise is an audio. Yes. Um, is a description about Pedro. Yes, who is uh, uh, in introducing his family. Eh, excuse me. His, it says, uh, his wife's family. Okay. So he is describing this. So you find the, you listen to the audio and you complete a text with this information. All right. You have here the options to complete the information according to what you listen. That is the initial exercise. Then the second, you have a text. In this case, it's reading. You have a text about Molly. Yes. And then you have a series of sentences to check if they are true or false. Yes, according to the text. This is going to be simple for you. I guess that you are really well prepared for these exercises. Then exercise three, very simple as well. You have a list of adjectives, yes, of qualities and uh, you have to select the corresponding opposite okay that is simple for you as well then you have another another listening listening exercise you have um, a radio program yes and they are describing fa two famous people from Colombia all right they talk about mariana pajon and james rodriguez all right good so the idea is that after you listen and read because it has the text as well yes so you select the correct information about each person okay so they are including like the physical appearance they are including like the kind of clothes that they like yes physical appearance basically and clothing okay so this exercise is basically on physical appearance and clothing style of the person and finally okay the exercise that i explained at the beginning that it was the description of these four people that you have to match the picture with the corresponding information that is provided okay so i invite you to go to your virtual courses yes and start activity de evaluation and we are going to i'm going to stay here for a while yes checking if you have any questions or doubts about the about these exercises remember that we are going to be in actividad de evaluación all right so i'm going to say goodbye and then i'm going to stay here for a while developing this actividad de evaluación together with you okay are all distractions clear for you okay very good yes that's nice so 
thank you again, once again, for your participation. You are really uh, motivating me as well. Yes, because uh, every time that you participate, it means that, that you are understanding the information that we are providing, that you are learning, that you are, yes, advancing in your learning process, okay? That's good. Thank you for today's class and see you next time. Have a good time. Goodbye.